Hey everybody, this is a little bit of a revisitation to a video that I did in the past, uh, Cliffhanger Startup Help. Uh, a lot of people have trouble starting their cliffhanger with Daphne. Uh, first thing you need to do if you're going to if you're going to run these, uh, don't bother downloading torrent files and all that stuff. It'll just drive you crazy. Uh, I got the, this set of four discs from a place called ROMcollector.com. Uh, I think that's the way to go. Just save yourself the aggravation. Get it, get these this set from ROMcollector.com. Cost me all of about twenty bucks, which is well worth it. Get a whole bunch of games that you know that you can play. Come with it. You basically get these discs and you move all the files onto your hard drive, your C drive, in a folder that you create called Daphne. Yeah, here's where the problems can sometimes begin for Cliffhanger. Sometimes you can run this Daphne loader right off your hard drive. I know that's a little blurry, folks. Sorry about that. You can double click right here and sometimes you'll only get to the title screen of Cliffhanger and then it'll just basically go dead on you. Then you have to hit escape and try over again. There is an easier way. Okay, so let me just drop this down. What you can do, you can use whichever of your disks has Daphne Loader on it and run it right from the CD-ROM. Uh, starting it from the starting it from the CD-ROM, or in this case, you know these are DVD-Rs. You know what I'm talking about. Start it from your start it start the Daphne Loader right from your original disk. You can either use one of the original disks that you already have, or you know you can be like me and make a few copies. You know just just for backup. Uh, the simplest way would probably be to just copy one of these disks that you get. Uh, that way you can put these away someplace, keep them nice, and not worry about them. You know, you make one just for uh, just for the purposes of starting up, like I've done. You can see a lot of these say, you know, the, you know, use this for a use this for to start Daphne Loader from just to start up your cliffhanger game, so on, so forth, that kind of stuff. You don't have to make copies. You can use one of the original disks that you get from ROM Collector to start it. Now I'll show you how that works right here. I'm going to use one of the copies that I made of one of the original disks just to use as a startup. But anyway, yeah, we're going to open that disk. I'm going to use that to start it. So there you have it. This is, this is right off of the disk. Just click on Daphne Loader right there. Again, sorry for the blurs. This is this this works a hundred percent of the time. But when you try to run Daphne Loader from your hard drive, it's not always going to work. When you when you start up the Daphne Loader right off of the CD-ROM, it, it, it's going to work every time. Just run it off the disk. If if uh, you're not you're not able to start it from the Daphne Loader on the hard drive, which frequently frequently happens. probably can't hear the disk drive going but the, the ROM drive is going and this is starting up right now if you can't hear the little beeps there you have it folks that's all it takes very simple and again, I know I keep repeating myself, but in my last video, I had said this before, and I don't, I don't know, maybe people just weren't hearing me or something. You can make a copy of one of your original discs, or you can just use one of your original discs. Whichever of these discs has Daphne Loader anywhere on it, if you want to start up the Daphne Loader right from one of these discs, it's going to start every time, and then you're in business.